Welcome super bright viewers. Today I'm excited to show you I am building a sign that I'm going to be hanging in my storefront window. I called other sign companies and it was upwards of $3,500 for a sign this size. Now I'm going to show you how to make one on your own. As you can see I already built the box itself but now I'm going to line it with two layers of RGB light strips which will go around the edge here. So when it's, the box is enclosed it should illuminate with changing color. Now I was fortunate to find a company online called superbrightleds.com. Purchased four light strips here. Now what's great about these light strips is it doesn't require any soldering. Uh, I'm not one for soldering, but it does come with an LC4 plug and play connector, which with the four strips I bought and this adapter, I will lock this in and then it will go to the controller box. What's great about these light strips is the adhesive backing which will make it easy to stick to the board around the edge. On the site superbrightleds.com, they have a wide variety of RGB controller. Uh, this is one I chose to buy, was one of these that I will stick on the outside of the box once I have the LED lights all installed inside. One of the other things you're gonna need is a power supply converter, which will convert to 120 volts to 12 volts for your light strips. I got the 150 watt, now you're asking yourself, how did I calculate the watts I'm gonna need for the lights I bought? On the site, you can go to one of the pages which helps you calculate your wattage. If you buy a product, you look at the specs and it'll tell you what power consumption it's gonna take. All right, so here's my light strip. I checked the lumens on the site, it's 122 lumens per foot. I'm approximately going to be using, uh, looks to be 48 feet of light strip. So now I'm gonna start sticking the light strips around the edges and it's all gonna come back to here, which will be my power supply, and also the controller box will be on the opposite side. So we'll have the wires go through right here. All right, so, so far I've put two light strips on this side and that side. I brought it to that edge. Now with the next two, I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna go this way, and I'm gonna end up in that corner. Now once I end up in that corner, I will use the cut lines and I will cut the light strip. Uh, the reason I don't want the light strips overlapping is because I'm afraid once it's in front of the window and the plexiglass is on that the light won't look even all the way throughout. One thing to do is to go back and just double tap the light strip just to make sure the adhesive is stuck. So, so far with the cost of the wood, the silicone, the paint, the light strips, the hardware, the plexiglass, I should be somewhere under the ballpark of $1,000. All right, now my light strips are installed. Uh, I'm gonna be using my adapter here and I will do the plug and play LC4 connectors here. I will connect these wires and we will test the light strip and see what it looks like. My light strips installed. Uh, I did cut the light strips over there in the corner. Uh, so I have it two layers evenly going around the edge. Now I got 120 volt power to the power supply, 12 volt to the controller panel here. And let's fire it up and see how it looks. <laughs> 